Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to import your banking activity into QuickBooks Desktop. So I'll be using QuickBooks Premier, uh, but the process is the same for QuickBooks uh, Pro as well. So all of your banking features will be located under your banking menu item. Uh, so the first thing let's do, let's make sure that our preferences are set correctly. So let's go to Bank Feeds and then change bank feeds mode and let's make sure that this is set on advanced so this is the window that pops up so this is our preferences for our checking account so if you go down here bank feeds mode we're in advanced mode so that's good and that is the default so if you're a new user that should be what it's set to uh, express mode roughly the same thing advanced mode just gives a few more advanced options for QuickBooks to automatically categorize your activity or if you go to classic mode uh, then you're not going to be importing transactions so make sure you're on at least the express mode or the advanced mode so I'm just gonna leave it on the advanced mode and click OK now uh, go back to bank feeds there are two way to bring two ways to bring in your transactions so you can either bring them in by setting up a connection a permanent connection between your QuickBooks and your bank account um, so to do that you essentially log into your bank account through QuickBooks and so I'll show you an introduction to that um, but I can't show you too much detail um, because that's going to be different for every bank but let's go to our set up a bank feed so that's a permanent connection okay and so the pop-up tells me here that we have to uh, close everything temporarily. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we enter our bank's name. Let's say U.S. Bank. Actually, I'm going to do American Express. So the process here is the same for either credit cards or checking accounts. Um, so let's do American Express okay and now you enter your username and password and you continue on from there so obviously before you can do this you need to make sure you have internet access set up with your credit card or your bank and then you use those credentials to log in here and then follow the prompts and so the prompts will be different for every bank it just depends on how things are set up so I can't really show you that um, but this is where you would start that process once the bank feed is set up and the transactions are being transferred over uh, every time you log in then the process will be the same as uh, what we show in our bank feed center where we're classifying transactions so it's just how you connect is different but the overall process once the transactions are into the account will be the same so I can't show you that so we'll close that okay now the other way you can bring in transactions is through a QBO file or what they call a web connect file so we can go to banking bank feeds and then let's import a web connect file so a word on web connect file so a web connect file uh, is a it's a it's going to be a file that you download from your bank most banks have the option and the extension on the file is dot QBO okay so that is a web connect file download it to your computer then you can upload it into your QuickBooks um, it's a pretty simple process so before we do that let's look at our I want to just I want to show you what's in our checking account right now so let's go to uh, banking use register just to view our checking account register and so you can see what I've set up so far is just two transactions so I wrote two checks to a couple of vendors back on uh, September 1st and 3rd now I'm going to import some activity from my checking account um, on September 10th and we'll see these two transactions coming through the bank and then we'll have to match them um, and then we'll also see a third transaction from the bank that I had not yet recorded in the checking account so we can see how to handle that as well so I'm going to close that now let's go back so let's go to banking bank feeds and we're going to import that web connect or QBO file okay so I have already downloaded the QBO file from my bank and so it shows up with the little QuickBooks icon so this is the QBI QBO file you can see um, the type there okay so I'm going to select it and hit open now it tells me there are no new transactions available and that's because I've already imported this file in preparing for this lesson 
Okay, so you won't get the same message, but here it just tells me you've already imported these transactions. There's nothing new to do, and that's fine. Okay, so then it brings up your bank feeds home. The other place, um, once you bring in your transactions, if you have to leave here and come back, the way you find this screen is your banks, bank feeds, bank feeds center. So this is your bank feeds center. I'm going to go ahead and maximize it. Okay, excellent. So um, it's imported three transactions that's waiting for our review. Okay, um, two of them they recognized and auto matched. So remember, these are the two transactions that I'd already created checks for, and now these checks have cleared. And then there's one that it hasn't recognized. So let's deal with these auto matched ones first. So before we just confirm them, Let's take a look at the details. So let's view details. Okay, this brings up the actual check I wrote to ABC Supplies. That looks like the check that cleared. And so, yes, that looks like a good match. It's going to put it to the account that I had originally set up the check for. All right, so that's a good match. And so I'm going to say confirm that match. Okay, now it didn't add a new transaction to the register because the transaction already existed. Okay, same thing with this uh, payment to AES accounting. Um, if we want to, again, we can view the details. Yep, looks like that's the right check. And so we can confirm it. Now, another option over here is not a match. If you put it not, as not a match, then it'll just move it from the recognized to the unrecognized column, and you'll have to deal with it uh, as an unrecognized transaction. Okay, but this is a match, so let's confirm it. There we go. Okay, now let's move to our unrecognized transaction. So this is one that was to the to A to A on to A on insurance, uh, but it was not entered in our check register yet. Okay, so this is something that probably an electronic withdrawal automatic. We forgot to enter it in the register. Not an uncommon situation. So now we need to before we add it, let's actually put in some more details. So let's add more details. Okay, so this window popped up. So we're going to say uh, 910 and we'll put the payee as uh, Aon Insurance. Actually, we're going to have to add a new one. Add a new vendor. Aon Insurance. Okay, now we have Aon Insurance there. We're going to want to put it to some sort of insurance expense. If we want to assign it to a customer or job, we can. Um, we can change the memo if we want. If we want to make it billable to a customer, we can click that. So this looks good. We've given it an expense. Let's say save and add to register. Okay, now we don't have anything left to work on, right? So here, added to register, all three of our transactions have been added to the register. So up here, gives us the $230.86. That's the balance that it's bringing over uh, from my bank. This is the balance in QuickBooks. So we can see we're way off, but the reason being is that I only imported three transactions uh, into QuickBooks. The rest of my checking account is not in QuickBooks, and so obviously it's not going to match. Um, but hopefully yours should match, or at least you should know the one or two transactions that are pending or something that are making it not match. Okay, great. So we are done with our bank feed. So we can close it. Now let's look at our check register again. Good. And now you can see it added that third account, the Aon Insurance account for $24. And this little lightning bolt next to him means that it was electronically brought over from the bank, right? So even the two we put in originally have now been transferred in from the bank as well. So they've already been matched to your bank feed. Okay, now as far as how often you transfer transactions in, again, if you establish the bank feed, um, then it'll be automatic. If you're, going to, if you're going to import these Web Connect or QBO files, you'll have to decide how often uh, to do that. Um, so I would say absolutely no less than every month. 
I'd probably do it every, you know, if you're going to do it monthly, do it when you get your statement, transfer everything over, reconcile your account immediately after you do all of your transaction matching. Uh, it'd probably be better to do it on a weekly basis, perhaps. Um, so again, if you, if you import overlapping time periods, it's not a problem because it'll recognize that it's already imported the transactions like it did with this. So uh, you have to, to determine what schedule works best for you, but it's certainly a lot faster than than having to input everything by hand, although a lot of the times you will input them by hand anyway if you're if you're writing checks. Um, but it's a very good way to make sure your account transactions match your bank so that when reconciliation time comes, it's very easy. So great. Uh, I appreciate your time. I hope this helps you understand how to import your banking activity into QuickBooks Desktop.